Your uncle died? Is he dead? Bring him in. I like dead people. I always had a connection with them. I mean, call me crazy, but they just fascinate me. That's why I became a mortician. I was always uh, a weird child growing up. When kids were playing with toys, I was playing with dead bugs. I still live with my mom. That's, um, that's an interesting shirt. Thank you. What do you do? I'm a mortician. So you... Bury and cremate dead guys. And girls. How's business? Great. People are always dying. I'm never going out of business. Is that a card? Sure. Thanks. Hope to see you again. Right. Bye. I'm Kenny Schwarzenberg. Back in 1948, my grandfather immigrated from Germany to America. His last name was Van Deutsch, so he changed it to something Jewish, so not to offend Jewish people. I'm the best mortician in the galactic universe. I started Kenny's crematorium about 10 years ago, and that's crematorium with a K. I always knew I was going to be either a clown or a mortician. I got rejected from clown school, so I went into the dead business. Kenny's Crematorium. This is Kenny Schwarzenberg, owner of Kenny's Crematorium with the K speaking. How may I help you? Yes, I know crematorium starts with a C, but it starts with a K because my name is Kenny, okay? No, I will not change Kenny to start with a C. Otherwise, it would be Senny, not Kenny. Now, do you have someone dead or what? I am so sorry about your loss. Thank, thank you. How old was your father when he passed? Father, our friend, our age. Such a tragedy to lose our young man. It was a she. Really? And how did she die? Last night was prom. Like, she even won prom queen. I take it she's very beautiful. Very. I still need to talk to the parents. Her parents died when she was five. Any other family members? No. no. There are no family members? No. Okay then. How would you like the body to be taken care of? Cremated or buried? We don't really have the money for either. Um, here's what I'll do. I'll bring the body down. I'll do her. And I mean, I'll do, I'll clean and bury the, I'll, I'll, for free. For free. It's all free. It's all free. Don't, don't right, worry. Thank, thank you. But just to uh, wrap up and clarify, girl? Girl. Yeah. Prom queen. Prom queen. Mm-hmm. No parents. None. None. Thank you. Sometimes I like to scare the janitors who work here at night. It is very fun. Look, this is ghost costume. Yes, I made it myself. Yeah, it is so beautiful. Anyways, so I'm going to try it now. Shh, quiet, quiet, quiet. Shh. Yes.
Martin, she's dead. A hot high school prom queen here with no clothes on? You just can't. With no parents to sue? It's illegal. You, you, you just can't. It, no. Dead? Oh. No, no. It's wrong. It's, it's wrong. Hello. Is there Mr. Johnson here? I have a package. Mr. Johnson? Yes, I'm Mr. Johnson. How are you? I'm Kenny Schwarzenberg, owner of Kenny's Crematorium with the K. Isn't crematorium spelled with a C? Anyways, I have a package for you. Where did you find me? Uh, I never told you where I work. Well, I followed you home after work on my scooter, and then in the morning I waited all night, I slept in the bushes, followed you back to school, and here you are. Here, package. What is this? A shoebox? Well, it's what's inside the shoebox. Wait, what? It's your mother-in-law. Why did you bring her here? Well, you told me you wanted to meet discreetly, and I figured doing classes would be the perfect time, so here you go. Ah. Okay. Wait, no! You're doing it the wrong way! Don't open it! Don't! No! <laughs> what the hell? Huh? That was my mother-in-law! That would be $40 for the gift wrap. Someone saw a ghost. <laughs> can you believe that? Oh, that's right. You can't. You're dead. Too bad I have to toss you into the grill. I uh, really... Martin the Mortician, you kill him, we grill him. That wasn't.